So I just wanted to do a quick video showing what it's like to set up my phone with Google Fi. My phone's an iPhone 7 Plus running Sprint. This is the package that I got from Google in the mail. I've already opened it. This little kit you get with an opener to pop your SIM. Um, I've covered up my secret code. You'll need your own for if you're activating yourself. There's a little plastic card with the SIM that I've already popped out. Like so. And some basic instructions on what you need to do. And since I have an iPhone, there's some additional instructions on what you need to do. So I'll go through that in a sec. So now I'm going to use this tool to pop the SIM slot open. Just needs a little bit of pressure. And then take out the sprint wand and put in the Google Fi one, like so. Now, I probably should have turned it off, but I've been trying this out a little bit lately, um, and it seems to be fine if I just pop it out while the phone's on. So I'm just gonna click OK to dismiss, and try unlocking the phone. You'll get this message update completed which is fine. Now I was having some trouble here before and that's because my phone wasn't fully unlocked by Sprint and I'll do a separate video on some of the issues I was having. If everything works properly, you should now see Google Fi as your carrier on the top. The next thing you have to do, if you haven't already done it, go to the App Store and search for Google Fi, right there. You need this to get everything working, but I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna click open. And just gonna go through this step by step. So I'm gonna click continue. And this is where your secret code comes into play. So I'm gonna use the code that I had on the card earlier. This card that came with the package. So there's two four digit numbers and a word you're gonna have to enter. And if that works properly, then you should see this, set up your number. Now it should already have your phone number in here that you wanna use because you should have already filled out the information needed on the Google Fi website to even receive the SIM card package in the first place. So I'm just gonna confirm that that's the number that I want. So I have an old Google Voice number tied to the Gmail account that I'm using Google Fi on. It's just telling me I'm going to lose that. I don't really care about it. So I had time before to enter in my account number, security pin and password. Um, I did this on the Google Fi website. If you haven't done that, you probably need to enter it in here, but I'm just going to double check to make sure everything's okay. Um, and click start transfer. So the number transfer is in progress. Uh, it says it's usually 15 minutes to go through. It's 826 now. So we'll see uh, how long it actually takes for things to start working. But it looks like everything is set up. So now we need to go through one last step to get the text working. Um, this is the information that came in the packet too that's specific to iPhone. It's probably just gonna walk us through it on here. So the first step, copy this URL, click copy. So what I need to do is go to my iPhone settings, click on cellular, cellular data network. You'll need to enter H2G2. No username and password. Under LTE setup, under APN, we're gonna enter the same H2G2. And under MMS, 
APN, we're going to enter H2G2. And then finally, MMSC. This is where we can paste in the URL that we copied from the app. Maybe it's saving you a little bit of time there. And now I'm going to go back, switch back to the Phi app and click Done. I'm going to confirm yes, I made those updates. So this section, turn on your contacts for voicemail. They're basically just asking if they can access your contacts to give you proper identification for the people who are leaving voicemails. I don't have a problem with that. I'm going to turn that on. And I also want to allow the app to have notifications to allow me notifications for voicemail. And now it's asking me to restart my phone. So I'm just going to hold down the power button and power off. Okay, so I just restarted my phone. Now let's see if I go to the phone app. So I'm just doing a test call to make sure everything's working properly. And it seems like that's fine. I got this strange text from Google after I signed up. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I think everything's fine because I've tested it and everything's working. So if you get this, don't freak out. So that's it. Everything's working now. If I go to, so that's it. If I go to the Google Fi app now, I can see that it's tracking my account data now and everything looks good. And I just got a confirmation text from Google saying that everything's good too. With a nice little graphic. I'm going to give it a heart. And that's it. Good luck. I'll make a separate video if you're having issues getting the SIM from Google working on your iPhone. Uh, I had a lot of trouble with Sprint and getting my phone to be truly unlocked in their system. It looks like a couple other people have as well, but there's a few steps I took that seemed to get it to be working properly. So uh, good luck. Enjoy your Google Fi.